Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to write a program on bounded types. So in the previous tutorial, we saw how our bounded type looks, right? So we are basically going to implement the same class which we saw in our previous tutorial, and that is print sum. So the requirement was, we have to write a generic class having a method which will print the sum of all numbers from an array. And the array could be an array of integer, float, double, etc. But it has to be an array of numbers, right? So this is how our print sum class would look like. Okay, now we've already seen this basic structure before. So we have a method over here called print, which takes an array as parameter. And then inside that, we are going to write the logic to print the sum of numbers from this array. Okay, so inside this method, First, I'll create a variable sum of type double and I'll initialize it to zero. Now, no matter what type of array it is, we are going to return the result in double format, right? And that's why I'm using double over here. Now, after this, I'm going to run a for each loop. So for each value inside this array, do this statement. Okay, so sum is equal to sum plus value dot double value. Now we are able to get this double value method because it is present in our number class. Okay. So this number class has this double value method and I'm using double value because uh, we have decided that we are going to return the result in double format, right? Now, after this, I'm just going to print the sum on the screen. Okay. Now, uh, I think our class is ready. Now let's try to print the sum of an integer array first. So I'll create an integer array over here. Okay. And I've initialized it with some values. Now let's create a print sum object of type integer. So I've created a print sum object over here. And now I'll call the print method of this print sum object and I'll pass this integer array to it. Okay. So ps integer dot print and I'm passing this integer array over here. Now let's create an array of double. So I've created a double array over here and I've initialized it with some values. Now again, similarly, I'll create a print sum object of type double and then I'll call the print method of it and pass this double array, right? Now, so far it is going fine. Now let's create a string array. So again, I've created a string array and initialized it with some values. Now I'll try to create a print sum object of type string. Now in this case, we are getting a compile time error, which says, bound mismatch, the type string is not a valid substitution for the bounded parameter t extends number. So this means that we have successfully created a bound over here to allow only numeric types. Okay. So this statement will not work. Okay. Because our string class does not extend number class. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just comment out this, uh, these two lines because they are not going to work. And now let's run our program. And yes, we are getting the correct output over here. Okay. So our program is working fine. Now we implemented bounded type using a class. So number is a class, right? But we can also use an interface in this place. Okay. So in addition to using a class as a bound, you can also use an interface. So the syntax is the same. It's just that we can use any interface over here in place of this number class, right? Now what we'll do is we'll create a few test interfaces over here. Let's say test one and test two. And now I'll just replace this number class with uh, one of these interfaces. Let's say test one. Okay. Now this extends keyword over here, it can be confusing. And that is because extends is usually used with classes. Okay. But we have an interface over here. So what happens is when uh, a class is used as a bound, then the types which we pass, it should extend that class. Whereas when an interface is used as a bound, then the types which we pass, it should implement that interface. Okay. Now in our case, none of our classes, integer and double, they're not implementing test one, right? And that's why we are getting an error over here, which says bound mismatch. The type integer is not a valid substitute for the bounded parameter t extends test one, right? Now there's one more variation over here. So what we can do is we can just keep this as it is. And then after this, I can say 
and test1. Now what this means is uh, the types which we pass they should extend number class and at the same time implement this interface. So both of these conditions should be satisfied. And again in our case even though the first condition is satisfied our classes are not implementing this test1 interface and that's why we are getting this error. Right? Now if you remove this the error should go. Okay? Now again there's one more point over here. You can also write multiple interfaces over here separated by comma. Let's say test1 comma test2. Okay? So this is one more variation. And again what this means is uh, the types which we pass it should extend the number class and it should implement both of these interfaces that is test1 and test2. And again this is allowed because uh, in Java you can extend only one class but you can implement multiple interfaces, right? So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.